Hey there. Well, I haven't been enjoying life that much lately. Most of it has been since I found out that I can't make any... I, like, if I make the amount of money that I get in EBT, I lose that much in EBT. If I make the amount that my small SSI check is, I lose that small SSI check, and I lose half of my medical. And I lose... I would then have to pay for the Medicare that I still would have. So basically what it boils down to is the way the system is set up, I am punished for making any money. The, the system, it's like it wants me to be poor. It doesn't want me to get out of that hole in any way unless I can just go absolutely full time and drop the, you know, and, and lose my entire safety net. And then if that doesn't work out, well, you know, I guess tough, right? I'd love to make a bit more supplemental income in some way, you know, just a little bit. I could, I guess I could do some things under the table. <clears throat> and then politics wise, what's going on, you know, here in the United States, what's going on in the world? The ways that everyone seems to be judged when it comes to, you know, if you don't march lock and step with the social justice warriors, you're some pile of shit. If you say something that reminds people of social justice warriors, you're called a pile of shit. I can see all this crap happening when it comes to the, what the right-wingers are doing <clears throat> as a reaction to the left basically making them uh, enemies no matter what they do. So they're like, fuck it, if we're going to be the enemies anyway, we're just going to be the shitlords that they're calling us anyway. <clears throat> I'm watching everything in that regard falling apart. I haven't enjoyed games since I stopped doing this. This is something that I... Um, if you can even see it very well. A couple times this week, I had, uh, once I had eaten something that was kind of bad, you know, had was going bad, and I got kind of sick. And the time before that, I <clears throat> overworked myself in the sun that's why last several videos you've seen my face is kind of red because I got sunburn, I overworked myself, and I got sick. And that's when I spent $10 on this. I've been, uh, and this still has stuff in it. I just don't want you to see it in the video because Google can, uh, uh, Google removes videos that actually show any of that stuff, so... Um, no matter whether it's legal 
here or not. It doesn't matter. They think, well, it's not legal in other places, so, you know, I don't feel like having my video taken down or my channel taken down for showing it. <clears throat> so, twice this week, I've... I've had a hit of this. And... I guess I'm kind of disappointed in myself. <clears throat> because I've had the desire to do it again. You know, it's... After it kicks in, about ten minutes later, you know, it kicks in. And then I'm kind of paranoid and, and panicky for about a half hour. And then I'm more relaxed about thing, certain kinds of things than I can even describe. <clears throat> A few things that I'll worry about that I normally didn't, but so many things that I normally am worried about all the time are just like, uh, it's, just, it's just kind of... And then I feel really creative. And then I'll enjoy games again. And enjoy a whole bunch of other things again that I had stopped enjoying. Even stuff like, you know, let's just go out and walk around at night. <clears throat> Not even anything particular. I'll just I just go out and walk somewhere at night. Let's just let's just go for a walk, and I would enjoy it. When I stopped, I don't know. I mean, the ratio that it that it's had that it's been for the past year, year and four months, is. You know, I'd go to a friend's house. I there I there I do it like I, I hit every other month to sometimes every month. I'd go to a, to a friend's house, they'd offer some, and I'd have a hit, and I'd stay over there for a long time, and we'd have a good time, and... <clears throat> but I kept it to that. I, I never bought any. I'd never spend, you know, $10 on it, even though we've got recreational here, there's no no issues with it. I just keep staring at this. But I'm I'm kind of disappointed in myself though. I've been trying so hard to find other things in my life to enjoy. It's, it's why I would still try to focus on YouTube so much. But it, it, so much of what I end up Focusing on is negative stuff. I see everything turning to shit. I see the world with to, to make a bad well, to word it poorly because I'm I'm not religious, but it's like the world is going to hell in a handbasket, and the politicians are enjoying the ride. I don't know what life is, is going to be like come January. I've never been this stressed about elections before. 
ever. I just... Again, I'm disappointed to want to go back to this. I'm disappointed in myself. <clears throat> you know, am I weak? Am I weak because I want to do this? Am I weak? Does this make me weak? Am I weak because I want to enjoy life? And if I start doing this again, you know, how quickly will I build up a tolerance? I mean, right now, it just—it just one little bitty hit, and I'm just like, I'm, I'm good, you know. If I could keep it like that, it would be—it, it, you know, would be feasible. Can I do it reasonably? You know, I was thinking myself do of do being reasonable about it for doing it like once a month or once every other month. I thought, well, that's reasonable. If I do it more than that, can I still keep it reasonable? I just, I've got all these neat memories of just going to, going to Seattle at night, going down some alley, and just smoking a bowl, and then just looking out at the water, and looking at all the, 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 the buildings, and the And I thought about just trying to do that when I'm not, when I, you know, haven't had any of this. But then it's always this element of, well, what are you doing here? But when I, when I do this, you know, they, sometimes they'd know that's what I'm doing and they're like, ah, yeah, hey, how's it going? I can't help but feel like if I start doing this again that I'm a failure. If I start doing this again, will I give everything else up just so I can have some of this? And to probably all the people that are that 
are regular stoners or whatever. They're probably looking at this going, dude, what's wrong with you? Why are you judging yourself so much on this? I can't stand what what the pharmaceuticals do to me. I can't stand it. You know, I've I've considered going back, trying some pharmaceuticals again, trying to see if there's something to make me uh, less, you know, less worried. But I think about the way it affects every all these other parts of me. You know, if I th if I think this makes me an airhead, think of, I I, th I think about some of the things out there to to try to take care of panic. And holy shit, I mean, it just makes me just I I can't remember anything. And it reduce those those things reduce my my creativity. They, re they reduce my ability to think about anything. They certainly don't help me enjoy anything. I can't stand. I can't. I can't stand pharmaceuticals. I can't. They they almost killed me. Last time I was on them. Almost killed me. And there's someone that I talk with, you know, he's a good good guy. I'm not gonna say his name, but he he, he uh, some of his job is uh, drug counseling. Not religious, not not religious in any any way, shape, or form. But had I not have had talks with him, I probably would have been already doing this quite a while back. At least, at least a month ago. I, I also don't see my life going anywhere. The way the system is set up, I, I can't make my life go anywhere. Unless I give up the safety net and then and then if I fail, I'm on the street, and, and then I still couldn't get work, and then... <sighs> yeah, I'm pretty depressed. <clears throat> That's the wrong reason to do this. That's the wrong reason to do this. That's what worries me.